Hello and welcome to another edition of This Is My Architecture. My name is Simon and I'm from AWS. I'm delighted to be joined today by Dorian from Cloyer. Hi there. Great to be here. Uh, could you tell me just to start with a little bit about Cloya and who you are and what you do? Cloya is AWS advanced consulting partner with Microsoft workloads competency, specializing on distinct solutions like application modernization, microservice transition and cloud leveraging. Okay, fantastic. And can you tell me a little bit about the architecture we're looking at today? So the Code repository uh, related with a uh, monolith code repository, which is based on .NET version 4, uh, was uh, ha have a, having uh, uh, multiple applications internally, which uh, we began splitting the applications. So the, uh, based on the analysis and assessment, we have uh, come up with distinct functions like back office, front office, e-commerce website, and scheduled tasks. OK. And when you went about trying to, to change this, what was the, the first thing you did? Initially, we managed uh, the, uh, the repository uh, in terms of, in terms of uh, sep separating into distinct uh, con bounded context. Uh, and we noticed that the back office and front office is tightly coupled to .NET version 4. That's why we decided to keep them in .NET Core, benefiting from Elastic Beanstalk which helped us to, to increase automation. OK. And following on from this, what was the, the next step you took? So the application consists of an API layer with multiple APIs. And we noticed that migration to .NET Core with low cost, which helped us to, to migrate to .NET Core and benefit from EKS. OK. And what about uh, the other components? So what about S3? What did you use that for? So uh, the customer had partners which, which, which were uploading files in, 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 bulk, in bulk or single, single files, which, which should need to be imported and exported within the application in very, for various reasons. So based on, based on the migration to .NET Core, we have defined Lambda functions, which are triggered by S3. And the Lambda functions are responsible from, from triggering APIs and partly to database. OK, so they trigger when you upload files to S3 then? That's correct. OK, and you mentioned the database. Uh, can you tell us what you're using Elasticache for? So the second phase was related with performance tuning. So we introduced two cache layers. The first one was Elastic Cache. We used Elastic Cache to keep output cache for .NET Core applications, most of which are responsible from e-commerce website. Besides, we introduced additional cache layer between applications and RDS, a data cache layer for the read intensive queries specifically helped us to manage the latency and decrease the hits going to the RDS. OK. And so after these changes, what was the benefits for your customer? So there are, I can mention about two separate benefits. After this, the replatforming phase, both for .NET and .NET Core, the customer benefited from Elastic Beanstalk functions like Auto scaling, deploy time configuration, versioning, as it is uh, managing the AWS resources automatically. It created automation and structuring the applications and environments separately. On EKS side, customer benefited from this thing, Kubernetes functions like auto scaling, secret management, uh, which helped the customer to have a structured environment. And besides, the performance tuning helped the customer to scale when during traffic peaks. OK. And have there been any particular peaks that they've scaled for? Did you, did you need to do any testing ahead of that? What, what have you done there? So the customer was targeting to have go to TV ads. So during these peaks, the structure had to scale automatically as we had distinct and loosely coupled architecture, which can scale independently. 
uh, besides, uh, this structure helped the customer to introduce automation during deployments, rollbacks, roll forwards to be more easily and in automated way. Okay, brilliant. So to summarize, it sounds like it was a really good result for your customer that due to the changes in the architecture, they were able to run that TV ad knowing that the architecture would scale and support them, whatever happened. Yes, the TV ads ran smoothly and they were happy about that. Oh, fantastic. So thank you very much for your time today, Dorian. And thank you very much for joining us on This Is My Architecture.